vacant homes, all while carrying a stun gun. 13 Action News reporter Gina Lazar spoke with one of those families tonight and even has video of the man who neighbors say is freaking them out. This is the video that's already been shared nearly 3,000 times. We're blurring the man's face because, as far as we know, he has not been charged with any crime. But his actions were enough to freak out people living in this neighborhood. This is my first experience living in this neighborhood was the, the bad experience with this guy. Emily and her husband Ryan haven't even moved in yet. They were working on renovations Sunday evening with the front door and the garage door wide open. Emily says the man in the video just let himself in. I look and there's a guy kind of like leaning in the doorway. So red flag for me, I come running down the stairs. I yelled Ryan, I yelled for my husband. Emily learned the woman who took this video lives just a few streets away. On Facebook, dozens of people said this man came to their house House too. Same story, trying doorknobs, trying to get up to people's houses, walking up their entryway. He just seemed kind of weird and shifty and, and uh, he started asking like how he could find out who owned all the homes in the neighborhood. And the couple says the man wasn't just asking weird questions, but he was carrying a stun gun with him too. Why do you have a taser out in your hand and what are you planning on doing with that? He was obviously looking for some trouble. One neighbor confirmed with us police did respond within five minutes of calling 911. We're told they made contact with the man, but never arrested him for a crime. Reporting near Cactus and Jones, Gina Lazara, 13 Action News.